Hello everybody and welcome to this fourth Saturday garden update for April. Here we are going in the aviary. I've done a load of work this month. I've taken out all of these containers which I started loads of cuttings. I've just stored them over there. I've left a few bit, bits and bobs here. There's not really anything left in this from last year. All the plants, these are sort of I'm waiting to see if anything comes out of them. There's a few plants here on the left, but all the peppers, I've decided to leave them here, outside. They've all got um, scorched leaves from being in the greenhouse, as it was just too bright. So I've got them here now. The Acer is here. This looks like um, it might be the only one, um, which is good. I'm glad I've got at least one out of it. But yes, there's all the peppers. I'm just going to leave those out there all the year, I think. Here we have a load of sunflowers. They're all sunflowers in there. More than I know what to do with. Uh, and here's all uh, some more cuttings, some spirea, some hebe. The hebes, this is literally all I have left. There's the globosa budlia. That little honeysuckle cut in there is growing nicely. I've got some more acorns. Loads of plants. In the greenhouse I have my runner beans started. Uh, there's a few that have grown a little bit more, but these will catch up as they're younger. Uh, these are all maple trees here on the left. The trees do a lot better out here because they don't they don't get burned like the peppers do as they're overwintered. There's my older plants, some oak trees and a lilac and a rose and another tree here. Uh, some more maples, there's one from last year. Some more sunflowers I've got into that container. I got some maple cuttings. These yeah, a little different. There's the wisteria. It's looking really good. Even more oak trees. This is kind of the tree farm in this greenhouse now. Because um, nothing really else like the peppers seem to do well. I've got a few... Oh, this is let go while I'm videoing. Not the best time. But there's a few pepper seeds in there which... These are all uh, a mixed bag of Jalapeno, Bell and Romero hybrids in one way or another. They're from the desk last year. And there we are. Outside the greenhouse. I haven't set up this yet, but I've sorted out the compost bins. Got all of that mixed up. Lots of grass in there with the old soil to refreshen it. Next month I'll have this set up and then two months probably runner beans there over here there's the hebe that i lost in that large pot and here's some budlias that i'm going to plant eventually from about three years ago and here's the garden no hebes anymore uh, cornflowers are coming through. I've gone through there with the mower and took some of this out because this pampas grass was just overtaking everything. So I've given these cornflowers a bit of room to breathe. There's the hydrangea. It's looking really good. These plants are looking all nice. I've put back here the sedums and left these and I've also left those. But yes, that is finally starting to grow now. My my dad's maple. Yes. Next month this will be full of leaf. And that's the update for April. And here's a little shot of the tree out the front after I've done on some work on it. Pruned it back to the standard. Uh, there's Mr. Blackbird, says he passed inspection. Um, I've left this little air layering on the right because so, um, I'm not sure it had rooted so 
leave that a little longer before I take that off. And here are these epiphyllum cuttings. The original plant has got one really nice leaf come now. I was thinking of taking these two shorter ones as more cuttings, maybe another four. These first four here have all got a leaf or two now. This one's got two doing nicely. Just a quick shot of these cuttings. It looks like that one there, the lighter green is starting to grow. And the others may all catch up soon.